Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Jump Half percent play group. Just pause it right before the end of the last episode, and on we go. We have a path down here. Let's go. There's a power up back the other way. Shit, I've just gone past it. Oh. What is the point in this path then? This is like definitely the worst path. It's just supposed to be easier to navigate, but like you miss out on a power. Oh well, I get a cape up here anyway. Come on. It's one of my favourite levels. Misty Mountain. I love the background as well. Nice. I thought I'd fuck myself then. I'm gonna have a yellow shell firing at my ass in a minute. There we go. Fucking bullet. Fucking ass on as well. Right, so I have to set a switch to get over here. That's the path to a dragon queen. I remember this. Checkpoint's just to the right. Yeah, so we get that first. If I die, I'll have to always come back left to get this, but it's just worth getting that now. I don't think it's too hard, the rest of this anyway. Just stop to scratch, one second. Hit you on a tight and die chop. Fuck is that? Alright. We need him. No. No. <laughs> well, goodbye, mushroom. I cannot believe how unlucky that was then. Did you see that shit? The turn block literally goes solid as I throw that shell. I couldn't remember whether it killed the Cooper inside it, so I was like... I mean, at least I got all the dragon points, so I don't have to go back there. I couldn't remember whether it killed the fucking Cooper, so I was like, oh, you might come... Oh, I'll, I'll, like, throw it in the pit, so he's just stuck down there. You know, it wasn't too bad. I didn't lose too much progress. If anything, really. I'm gonna get a dragon point. Of course, it's gonna go down there. What am I doing? What am I missing? I need to hit a switch, obviously. Oh no, no. Uh. It's risky, but <laughs> yeah, look. I want to see what these are. Oh god, it was nothing, <laughs> of course. GG, let's go, boys. Don't know I didn't get a tape there, but get through Misty Mountain Pass. Really fun level. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's obviously. Slightly easier than most levels in this game as well, which is why I like it. But um, you just really want fun levels, and that was a fun level. Ah. Who are these made by? Town of Plant was made by Snowrun, check that one. Misty Mountain was made by Wither Skelly. We made some good levels with Skelly. Uh, Mandu and Lolly Ocean made Danger Town, next level. I think that's for Saws. I really like Saws. Uh, so the gimmick about this one, it'll say here. In this mysterious place, you can change Yoshi's colour, simply drop him in the hole below, then take the pipe to claim your Yoshi again. Yoshi's colour is determined by the combination of magic you impart. You may also receive power up to the right combination. So I'll show you all of them. 
Got, I've memorised two of them for sure. First one, um, one I've not. Don't remember trying. What if we don't hit out any? You get a fire flower. Okay. And normal Yoshi, green Yoshi. And you leave. Hit just the one on the left. This will be red Yoshi, sure. You get a mushroom or a fire flower. Oh, a mushroom. I'm red Yoshi. Now the other two of the ones that I mainly do. Hit the one on the right. You'll get a cape. And orange, well, yellow Yoshi. Then if you hit both of them, you actually lose the power up. Um, but you get blue Yoshi, which of course, if he eats any shells, he can fly. Normally it's any Yoshi has to eat a blue shell to be able to fly, but blue Yoshi can eat any colour shell to fly. That's really OP. So yes, we'll take him. And I'll come back here occasionally to like levels where it's better to have Yoshi. I'll uh, come back. Uh, but first and foremost, I want to go back in. And... Get the cape. So what I do a lot of the time before I get Blue Yoshi, I'll come in here and I'll get two capes first, so that when I do lose my power up, I've still got a cape. Yeah, this is one of the best HQ like warehouses I will be used throughout the game, I'd say. So of course, if I were to go back and get another power up there, it'd lose my Blue Yoshi, should do one. Uh, what a save state here, because this level might not be fit to Blue Ocean, I'm going to go through it again, getting him, because then I'll lose another power up, and you have to like, stop them again. Oh well, probably can't even have Yoshi this level. I remember that correctly though. This has got swords in, and it gives you a cape anyway. Nice, two okay. cape. It's probably going to be a grim level, to give me a cape. I didn't check if I had... Dragon Coins. I'm gonna guess not. I don't remember this level of Dragon Coin. So you gotta guide it over to the Sky Tree, normally. However, with the cape, as long as I keep it, that'll never be an issue. Yellow Switch Palace, as you can see as well guys, is really beneficial if you already hit it for this level. Damn it. Kill this fucking thing. Nice, so you need that one to get the checkpoint. We got another cape here. Yeah, there's no drag points in it. I'm very sure not. I would have definitely seen one. Like, they're not that hidden. In a lot of levels, there'll be one or two that are sometimes hidden quite well, but you'll never, like... Fuck me, really? That's a blind drop. That's fair. Oh, I was actually sick. Oh, I dodged him. I want to kill him. I want to get this guy out. Okay. The moon! Real! Nice. Got all the sky trees this level. Oh, and that's it. GG. <laughs> wow, we pissed that level, guys. Nice. A lot easier when you uh, get the sky trees then, evidently. Is that one shot? I think we were one shot though. Nice. Didn't need Blue Yoshi. Uh, brothers in Arms is next one. Oh shit. I think this level's just full of fucking Hammer Brothers. We throw shells and boomerangs and all sorts of crap. Uh, I think we're gonna backtrack at this point and go to the forest again. I know in the forest there's a lot of like Coopers, so Blue Yoshi's probably more useful there.
So that'll be next episode anyway, guys. We'll go back and uh, carry on.